infectious diseases and, and antibiotics, the pharmacist is very, uh, very key. They're, they work as a partnership with the other disciplines, so with, them, with the doctors and with the nurses. But their role is around advising on the right dose at the right time for the right patient. It's around looking at the patient parameters, so looking whether or not the patient can have something intravenously, they can have it orally. Does the drug get to the right site of the infection that it should do? Um, is the dose good enough? Should we minimise and look for toxicities? So there's lots of key bits about patient care that pharmacy can have a, a really big responsibility for um, and take ownership. And if they can do, do that and look at those parameters, they can help improve patient safety because nobody wants to get a side effect. Nobody wants toxicity. And if we can minimise that, then that has better outcomes for patients. Antibiotics in, in general across the globe are becoming less effective. And they're becoming less effective because the bacteria are smart and they become resistant. And that's happened because we overuse or misuse antibiotics. So when you go to a, uh, your, your doctor and you expect an antibiotic, you expect to receive one if you're not feeling very well. But that shouldn't be the default. You should go to a healthcare professional and ask and be reviewed and you may not get an antibiotic. If you have flu or you have a sore throat, you, you don't need an antibiotic. And it's that perception and culture that we have to shift within primary care and within secondary care. Not to expect an antibiotic, but not to give an antibiotic because you think the patient might get an infection. And if we don't stop that and if we don't review our practice, what we're going to end up with is infections that we can't treat. And we're, all, we're already nearly there. We have some infections in the world that it's really, really difficult to treat with antibiotics. And if we don't change our practice and change behaviour, change the behaviour of us as clinicians, but also the public, then we could end up in a scenario where the antibiotics don't work anymore. There are two scenarios when you prescribe antibiotics. You either prescribe them empirically, so that means when you think a patient's got an infection but you don't really know the the bug that's causing it. So if you present to your, your, um, your, your doctor and you have signs and symptoms, they may give you an antibiotic that's very broad. It covers lots of things. But broad antibiotics we know are, they're great and they work, but we shouldn't put everyone on them. So as soon as you know the bug that you're treating, it becomes targeted treatment. And if it becomes targeted treatment, we have a narrow antibiotic. And then we, we have the right drug for the right bug for the right person. And if we can make sure we have more narrow use rather than a broad spectrum use, it, me it means that for the patient, they have a, a less likelihood of toxicity and side effects. And for the wider healthcare, they have less chance of breeding resistance. So as healthcare professionals in infectious diseases um, trained, um, professionals, we like to use things that are targeted, that are narrow, but sometimes we have to use things that are broad, um, but it's going from broad to narrow that is the key in all of this. Patients shouldn't expect to receive an antibiotic, that's the key message. They need to um, have a, a more, um, what's the word, uh, more education around antibiotics. So if you go to a GP and you're feeling unwell because you've got a virus, antibiotics don't work against viruses. If you do get an antibiotic, you have to make sure that you take it, you don't give it to anybody, you complete the, the course that you've been given, and if you get a side effect or uh, an adverse reaction, you go and speak to someone. Don't flush them down the toilet, don't, don't throw them away, dispose of them sensibly. So then in hospitals what we do is we, we can use empiric therapy. When someone comes through the emergency department and doesn't know what's happening, yes we give an empiric therapy. But the key is making sure at 24 hours, at 48 hours, that we have taken the right sample. So we take a sample before we start antibiotics. Because if we don't, then when we take a sample we don't know what it means. So we take a sample, we give the antibiotics and we rationalise and reduce from broad to narrow once we know what's happening. Don't continue antibiotics just be in case. Talk to infection specialists, talk to your stewardship teams, which is what we're trying to promote. So the right drug with the right dose at the right time for the right patient. And don't try and do these things on your own. It's much better to do it as a team with specialist knowledge um, and go from broad to narrow where you can. So there's lots of drugs that have uh, 
an oral, the oral drug is just as effective as the intravenous. So if you imagine if you're a patient, patient, or if, if I'm a patient, I don't want to have a line put inside me. It's, it can hurt, and it also can introduce infection. And that infection can go into the bloodstream and you can become sick. So what we try and do is get people from their intravenous antibiotics to their oral antibiotics as soon as we can. And there's a lots of criteria and evidence to say that it works. If you don't have a temperature, if you don't have a high heart rate, if your infection parameters are low, it's very simple to convert someone. So if you go to your, your general practitioner in the community, your primary care, they're not going to give you an intravenous antibiotic, they give you oral antibiotics. So if you're in a hospital, we have to get over this fear of going from intravenous to oral. It's an efficient way, it gets people out of hospital, they don't pick up other infections and other bacteria, and they don't have a line in. So their chances of picking up that extra infection is reduced. Oral antibiotics, they can, you can tolerate them. Some people get a bit of tummy pain, they get a bit of diarrhea, they might feel a bit unwell. And if that happens, we can try and get around it. But actually, people taking antibiotics through their mouth is a very effective way of treatment.